Hi guys, welcome to Nairish IT. This is Sudhakar and uh, today we are going to discussing uh, what about joints and in this joints equi-joint and non-equi-joint, how it will work and what is the differences in between equi and non-equi, okay. So that we will discuss here and in this session now and before that, so first of all joints what exactly we know that, okay. So now we are going to discussing here joints today, okay. So in this, uh, in the last video session, in my previous video session, I was given clear information about joints, uh, what joints types and categories, everything I was given there. So in this session, we are going to check the, the implementation of your equi and non-equi joints. Okay, so basically joints, we know that, I think everyone knows that, the joints we are going to using for retrieving, retrieving data from multiple tables multiple tables tables at a time. So retrieving data from multiple tables at a time. This is what the join uh, the nature and requirement. So in this the basically two joints okay we discuss in this session and the remaining joints so we have already in the previous sessions here. So now what I am going to discuss in here first of all first of all I am going to take your equi join and uh, next we are going to discussing one of another join is non equi join okay so equi non equi what is the difference first we will discuss the differences in between equi and non equi joints okay so what is the differences here a little bit okay observe so equi join whatever it was there equi join okay so equi join we are called as a whenever the user is retrieving whenever the user is retrieving data from the from the multiple tables from the multiple tables from the multiple tables based on based on an equality condition equality condition so equality condition it means what now it means that I am going to using only one operator that operator is equal operator. I am using what now? Equal operator. So whenever the user is retrieving the data based on equality condition, then it is called as a equijoin. Simply we can say. Okay. But in this equijoin, but in this equijoin, I can't use uh, I can't use okay, I can't use the following operators. Okay, I can't use the following operators. I can't use the following operators are what kind of operators I can't use means here I can't use my following operators are like for example uh, less than greater than less than or equals to greater than or equals to okay comma not less than comma not greater than comma not is equals to so these operators I can't use in my equation okay so except equal condition the remaining greater than conditions or less than conditions, greater than or equals to conditions, any kind of conditions we can't use except equality condition. So that means based on equality condition only, I am going to retrieving the data from multiple tables. This is what the equijoin definition we called. Whereas come to non-equijoin, non-equijoin or how it will be work means, so it is a quite opposite of your equijoin. It is a quite opposite of your equation. Okay, what is that means? So this was going to retrieving data. This was going to retrieving the data from the same multiple tables, some same multiple tables based on based on any condition, based on any condition, based on any condition except except equal condition except what now equal condition so that means what it is here except equal condition you can use any condition to retrieve your information from the multiple tables but don't use a equal operator okay so that is what when you go for like this then it is called a non equi join we called and non equi join okay what it was say i cannot use this i cannot use i cannot use I cannot use equal operator, I cannot use equal operator 
okay but i can use but i can use i can use the following operators like these all operators i can use i can use these all operators these operators and even the, along with this you can the, even though we can use between comma and okay so etc we can use but don't use equal operator but except equal operator you can use any other operator to retrieving your data from multiple tables so this is what simply we can say equi join and non equi join okay let us see i will show you one small example equi and non equi joins how it will be work okay so come to open your sql server management studio and i am going to connecting here and now i am taking some new query editor for writing my queries yes later same i just take my database that is called a my class database i just calling now okay i just go to executor now so first of all okay i am going to check here i am going to check here so i am going to taking now first of all i am going to take a example example on equi join i am showing now so example on equi join okay this is my equi join okay i am using now so but if i want to go for equi join simply i am going to creating a small tables okay some sample tables i am creating here table 1 t1 of okay otherwise uh, i want to take here for example the previously i was uh, test tables are there so what are the tables are there just i just remove those tables okay and now i am going to take here test one of uh, suppose i am giving serial number integer and some names i am passing here where care of some size okay and now this is one table i created now yes it was created in the same pattern one more table i am creating uh, that i can say the test number 2 okay and again i am going to execute this one okay so this is also executed so that means two tables i created now then what i want to do now whatever the tables i created in my database okay t1 test1 and test2 now i am going to inserting some data but the whatever the data i am inserting here the data i am inserting through graphically so whenever you want to insert graphically you just uh, select your table in which table do you want to insert your data select your table and come to uh, click right mouse button and after that you have one option will be there edit top 200 rows okay so on this uh, i just come click on edit top 200 rows okay so now it will be open your table and later i am inserting some data into this for example serial number 10 some name i was given now for example sai and 20 i was given some name is adams like 30 i am giving like james so this is what now one and some records i inserted here and just executed and later in the same pattern test number two also i'm going to take now so edit this one again i just come back here to take serial numbers again so 10 i'm going to take here some name is uh, for example warner and i will take here 20 okay so some name i'm going to take in here for example uh, we can say ellen okay so this is what i'm going to take in here and one more record i'm taking here 40 the 40 number I'm, i will take now for example jones okay so these are some more records i'm going to storing in our second table that's over and the two tables i prepared in my database finally these two tables i just calling now select a star from test one is one table select a star from test two is my second table so now i'm going to execute it now then you can see that i'm going to execute this two table the two table data was there in one table i was taken 10 20 30 and some names second table i was taken 10 20 40 some names now on this two tables data i want to apply my equation so equation how to apply your observe i'm going to take some examples on these two tables and uh, the previous sessions if you want to see my previous sessions there i was given uh, what is the syntax to join more than two or more than two tables the syntax i was given now so if you see the, my previous sessions and previous videos there i was given clear syntax for joins okay so now by what is my join syntax is select a star from first table that i can say test one okay comma next one is what now test two okay and later i will take your where the condition joining condition i want to give what is joining condition here test one dot common column the serial number is my common column is equals to 
test 2 okay dot serial number then what is happened here this is called a equality condition that means whatever the condition I was given in this this is called a equality condition and I am using equal condition only. So, when I am using equal condition then it is called as a equijoin we called then it is called as what now equijoin. So, whenever I am going to execute at this join and to see and execute it now yes. So, what is happened here the two table informations serial number and serial number name whatever it was there but two names Sai Adams is my test one table people name and Warner Allen is a test 2 table people name. But whatever the information what got, got it here, this information we got it only matching data we got it, only matching data. Okay. So, 10, 10, 20, 10. why we are getting matching data? But in my table I have a unmatching data also there now. If you go for test 1, if you see the test 1, unmatching data 30 is there. If you go to test 2, unmatching data 40 is there. But in my example query, when I done example query, what is happened? Only matching data was retrieving. So, only matching, matching data is retrieving means, it means what now? We are using, we are using what now? Equality condition. So, based on equality condition, equality means matching data. Now, it is matching here. Test 1 serial number 10 and test 2 serial number 10. Both are satisfy the condition. So, 10, 10 satisfied, 20, 20 satisfied. So, that means whatever the equality condition I was given there, that equality condition was satisfied by two records, 10th record, 20th record, because 10 is equals to 10, 20 is equals to 20 matching. But uh, 30, 40, these are not matching of data. 30, 40 is called a unmatching of data. So, your equijoin is going to retrieving only matching data because of equality condition. So, this is a simple way I can go to say what exactly equijoin. Okay? So, now, now, this is equijoin example. In the same example, I want to take a non equijoin. Non equijoin, what is here? We said this is equijoin example. Whereas, come to non equijoin. Suppose if I want to go for non equijoin. Suppose if I want to go for my non equijoin, same taking here. In non equijoin, what is happen? You can see the query I am going to write now. Select a star from select a star from same table test 1 comma test 2 where I want to say here test 1 dot serial number is greater than test 2 dot serial number. Okay. So, why I am taking serial number okay, means the two column data types are same. So, that is why I am taking two same column data types here I am taking. So, the sessions we can understand in my previous videos. So, test 1 serial number greater than test 2 serial number and this now I am going to execute. Now, that means what I am doing here, I am not using any equal condition, but except equal condition I can use like greater than, less than, less than or equals to, greater than or equals to any kind of things you can use, but do not use the equal. Except equal you can use any operator in your non equi join. Okay. So, now I am going to execute now what is happening you can see yes. So, I got some output when non equi join, but here observe did you find out here in equi join when what we are getting the output in that output we are only getting equality and matching data only we are getting, but this time what is happened not matching data we are getting unmatching data also. So, now we can see. So, it my first table test 1, okay. it my second table test 2 and now what I am asking test 1 serial number is greater than test 2 serial number. So, now if you want to come, this is test 1 and this is test 2. Now, you can compare this condition. What are the condition was given here? This condition you can check. So, now serial number, now I just go for C. I am taking here, I just uh, uh, hide these columns because these columns are not necessary for us, just it is, I just hiding. This is what now in this two what is happened I will be taking here. This is test one table information, this is test two table information. In between these two what I am using greater than symbol. Okay? So, now we can see now. So, 20 first record I am ch checking here, 20 is greater than 10, condition true or false? Yes, condition is true, condition is true. Next one, 30 is greater than 10, condition true or false? Yes, it is also true, condition true. So, next one, 30 is greater than 20, condition true or false? Yes, it is also true. 
So that means what happened? Whatever the output was came, whatever the output was came, okay. In this output, if you see, as per my given condition in my e in non-equijoin, the same condition will be implemented here. Okay. So every T1 that means called test one table serial number is greater than to test two serial numbers. Yes or no? Yes. So 20 is greater than 10. So 20 is a bigger than 10. 30 is a bigger than 10. 30 is a bigger than 20. So that means whatever the values are satisfied for the given condition, that values are displayed. Okay. So this is what we called a non equi join mechanism. So these are the two joints, okay, equi and non equi. So simple way, I will explain your simple programs I was taken here to how to take your so equi join equal operator only I can use. So non equi in place of suppose in place of uh, greater than I can use what now less than also. If I'm using less than to execute this one, what is my output this time? Now you can see. I'm using what now? Ten is. 10 less than 20, satisfy. 10 less than 40, satisfy. 10, 20 less than 40, satisfy. 30 less than 40, satisfied. So that means you can use any operator condition in non equi but do not use a equality condition. If you use equality condition, then that is comes under equi join. This is equi and non equi joints differences. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.